Hello, and welcome to the Handy Capable Black Woman Throne Room Podcast Edition. My view of humanity is a whole new tea. (sighs) Well, today, I'm going to be talking about how, how much I relate to a wonderful person who whose name was Nat, and how as a society, as with our school districts, like community school districts, like just empathy, sympathy, and it proves why so many Republicans and, and conservatives want to eliminate diversity, equity, and inclusion because if they exclude those things, it allows kids to stay ignorant and it allows them, since they are ignorant, to tease and to bully and to put down because when they see people who are not like them or who are different or who have different oppositions, opinions and like viewpoints, that allows them to bully. And it's like, I know I, if I had to save everything that I, well, I wish I saved this video. I'll see if I did, but I know, especially since the orange guy started running for president, there's been a few interviews, but one specifically pretty recently where a Republican bragged about teasing and bullying and even fighting people in the LGBTQ. And he blamed it on the Bible, or he said it because it's in the Bible. So I, there's so many things wrong with that. And at the same time, I kept seeing it to the point where instead of treat thy neighbor as yourself and even when I went to church and like during high school the way they taught about LGBTQ and they put it down and things it's like I kept my distance because I I wasn't sure because I knew some cool people who said they were in the LGBTQ but then I was told it was a sin and that I would be going to hell and they were going to hell if I was, if I agreed with it or okay with it. And, and then I, and I had a very extremely strict family. So out of fear, I stepped away from it cause I wasn't sure. And I wish I knew differently now. And I'm so glad that once I was able to, I think it was around junior, senior year when I started reading more books and everything like that, which is why the school districts or conservatives are trying to take ban books because they're scared that their children will again not be ignorant and then have a reason to bully and hate people that are different than them. And the amazing thing is present day, my closest friends are in the LGBTQ. I adore, I appreciate, and I understand them and they understand me because I think having a disability, we have a lot in common. People judge us or they want to say we are not like them or not normal or they, they're they going to pray it away because even with me it's really annoying how oh you just don't love Jesus enough oh let me just lay hands on you oh we'll say these verses every day oh we're going to just pray it away and then you're going to walk right and then you're going to find a man that's going to love you because until that day comes Yeah, a lot of people said that, not just that one specific person in my life who literally told me, as long as you walk like that, no one's ever going to want you, date you, 
or marry you. And there's different variations. Want you, love you, or marry you. So, yeah, there's a few different variations of it, but that was bullying. That was bullying to the point where I hated myself. It wasn't until I was diagnosed that I realized it was not my fault. But I was in my 30s and I literally hated who I was. I blamed myself for the pain. I would just say, I'm so stupid. I can't even walk right. Because that's what so many men would tell me. It's like, you're beautiful, but until you walk right, I'm not going to date you. And oh, this goes back all the way to grade school because I never picked up my feet. I, I tried to, and when people said I didn't, I didn't understand. And kids teasing me, picking on me, and gym teachers blaming me. and Or when I did get teased, I would go to the teachers. Oh, wow. They just don't understand. It's okay. It's okay. Just, you'll be strong. Just stay strong. And it wasn't until late last year when I told one of my fellow friends with a disability, just stay strong. And they told me, I'm tired of being strong. Why does everyone tell me to be strong? It's like when you're different, they always tell you, you have to be strong. And I realized, yeah, I'm tired of being strong too. I get tired of everybody telling me to be strong because of everybody else's ignorance. Everyone else being allowed to bully me, tease me, mock me, put me down, ridicule me, blame me. Or it's just, uh, it's exhausting. And I have had to go through it since grade school because doctors were too lazy, stupid, ignorant, racist, bigoted to look and see maybe there's something wrong. Why would she walk like this until her 30s? Why? Like, if she could just walk right, why wouldn't she just walk right? And... Now it's like I blamed my family and I'm still healing through that. But because I, I, I still do a little bit. But now, oh, it's all about the doctors now. I'm going on different websites and I am rating them. And I'm telling the, the stories with these doctors. Because I went through so much. Especially when it comes to being bullied. Especially high school. I hated high school. And I know at church, oh, you're, it's a sin to hate. I was like, mm. yeah, if you went through it when I went through, <clears throat> I'm still, and I'm still strong enough to try my best to not hate people, but experiences. There was one person who, I need to find my yearbook. Once I find my yearbook, oh, all of the people who read my novels will know his name because he will be one of my characters. And I know it's like I asked one of my sisters, do you know where the yearbooks are? Because like I thought of this like over a year and a half ago. And they were like, oh, shouldn't it be here? Or there it's like but I think that's that's just how much I could not stand school or high school because some of the people were just awful that after I graduated I wanted to be as far away from it and even there was a job interview and out of all schools it was for that that school district and I didn't want to apply but with my legs, I was I still wasn't diagnosed, but since my legs hurt so badly, 
And since it was really close to where I live, I'm just like, okay, well, at least I won't bump into anybody I know. But then the vice, or no, the principal or vice principal, I forgot which one, but one of the principals there is the husband of someone I went to school with. Oh my God, like... And just seeing him, part of me was just like, well, if I don't get the job, God is good. Because I don't want to see you. I don't want to see her. I, it's like if they, if they knew what I knew about how they spoke about some of the people at that school. But I digress. Because I, will I name a character after them? I doubt it. Because... Bully wise, I mean, they were like a 0.5 on the scale for me, for me, but for other people, it would be higher. But there was this one gentleman from high school, this one African American male. Again, I wish I knew his name. And there actually, there was, there was several African American men at that school that tormented me made sure they trolled me, hurt my feelings, made me feel despicable, awful, and that to the point where I hated myself. And they loved it. And when I went to teachers, because, yeah, it's like, there weren't, I think it was like 8% African American at the time that I went to the school. It's totally changed now. But whenever I would go to a teacher, and I, I, I would tell them, because I'm like, can you uh, do assigned seatings where... I sit away from them. I don't know why you put me near them. Or it's like, can you make sure when they go and sharpen their pencil, they don't come up and literally push my chair? Or like, if you, can you at like, can you pay attention so that when they come up near my table and then they try to hit me across my face, it's like, but then you say you don't see it. But then when you do see it, you say, oh, it's because he likes you. I am so tired. Like, okay, teachers, educators, listen to me. Because I already, like, this is one reason when I talk to students, I knew never to say that because I knew it was a lie. Do not tell students that other students hurting them, teasing them, mocking them, being so vicious to them is because they like them. Because now you are teaching them that... That is how people show love. That is how people show interest. You are showing a pattern of toxic relationships. Because even when I was dating or even with Mr. No Heart and especially with Mr. Lockerkey, he stole from me to force me to go over to his house. He put a well, okay, I should have put a caution because I didn't know I was going to talk about this, but when I was literally leaving his house, wanting nothing else to do with him, he put something towards his wrist in the middle of the street saying he was going to do something if I left. And, like, lately, like, I've been, especially since being diagnosed, I've been doing a lot of my own re- reflecting and everything, and part of me wonders... Since I was bullied so much and since teachers kept telling me that that shows that someone likes you, that shows love, was I taught toxic relationships because so many people put so much toxicity in me, showed me so much self-hate? Did I turn back or did I end up in a relationship because I thought that was love? I thought he must love me so much. He must care about me so much that he is willing to do this for me. Because back in high school, when boys would literally hit me and ridicule me and say how ugly I was and how stupid I was and how I walked like an R word day after day after day after day. And I would talk to teachers and tell them, they, oh, he must like you. He must care about you. Oh, he must have a crush on you. 
It'll pass. Don't worry. It never passed. It never passed. Oh, you talk like a white girl. Why are you? Why are you trying to be an Oreo? Oh, you're such an Oreo. Why are you trying to act like this? Oh, your parents didn't like teach you the right ways. And it's like, go to the teachers. He says that because he likes you. Oh, well, honey, why do you talk like that? Maybe he's just trying to tell you that men like him want you to talk differently. Yes, teachers told me all of this. So, I understand next. And I understand the pet, like, because, yes, next threw water at the, those kids out of frustration because if no one else was going to defend next next had to figure out how to defend themselves there were so many times at school i wanted to defend myself other than verbally but i learned how to be really petty with my mouth yes as a christian woman i wasn't able to release it yet but there were a couple times I did. And I remember when I was able to say what I wanted to say without any swear words or anything, like when I was able to talk back in the way that I know how to do now, mouth dropped. Mouths dropped. And now with my writing, I am able to release and just be petty and relinquish the hurt and the pain. Because with this one specific bully, there's going to be a part two. There will be. Because, again, once I know his name, I will even come back and put it in the description here. But when you read my book, that means I found it and everything. I'm still working, like, literally, I, I was almost done with the novel until I realized I wrote two halves of a novel. So... That is what I'm working on right now. I split, literally split it in half and now finishing both. And I already know the titles, which is exciting because I figured out the series. But anyway, sorry. Tan excited, tangent, nerdy, all that jazz. But this one, horrible. Okay, and this is all, in my opinion, what I'm calling him. This horrible, toxic just despicable hateful vile human being and human being is loose definition i remember my junior year i thought he was like he was a senior he was a year ahead of me i remember being so excited about him graduating because i would never have to see him again that's how much i could not stand him because that's how much he tormented me and how much like he, he literally found ways to torment me and we didn't have any classes together but for some reason he always bullied me but then you know senior year I was like, I'm kind of excited because I'm like, okay, my final year and some of the juniors that bullied me, tormented me, hated me for no reason. Like for no, I was a nerd. I, like no one liked me. I like, I was by myself, whatever. How come this person could not figure out how to graduate? How come this person got left behind? How come this person couldn't pass their classes? How come this person was determined to stay for a fifth year? How come? Because, but at the same time, oh, hmm, the way I learned how to be verbally petty, my power, my powers grew stronger because and also my tactical street smarts. Because, yes, I was in high school, but I had to learn street smarts, street smarts because of him. 
because at the beginning of the school year, I would be walking to class. And within a week, this jerk, this bully, this corrupt human being, in my opinion, he remembered my schedule. Somehow, I don't know. But he started hiding. Like, I would be walking down the hall, and I would be, I normally walk near walls because with my undiagnosed disability, my balance and everything like that. So I'm used to walking by either lockers or walls or whatever. But he would kind of look down. I was like, I wouldn't see him because I didn't know to pay attention to him. But all of a sudden, he would put his foot out right when I was about to pass him. And I'd fall straight to the floor. Ha, 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 ha. And he would say, team up all of his all of his friends around him everyone's pointing and laughing at me oh my god you're on the floor oh my gosh you're so stupid you don't know how to stay on your two feet why do you walk like that oh you're so stupid and then the next day towards a different class because then i would walk towards the on the other side of the hallway yes against traffic but to avoid him but then on the way to another class, he would trip me. And so then I would go to a teacher. Oh, he's doing that because he likes you. Maybe you just need to talk to him. It was to the point where street smarts, I had, I had to literally rotate my routes to my classes each and every day, even if that meant I was going to be right on time. Because I would even ask teachers, can I just hide in the bathroom? And then once the bell ring comes into class, well, no, that would be, that would be a tardy. And I would have to write you up after a certain amount of tardies. You can't do that. But I'm getting tripped in class, um, in between classes and my knees are hurting. And it's embarrassing. And some some of my other bullies step on me. Literally, they would step on me. No, I can't. No, um, you know the rules with t- being tardy. So, literally, I had to create different routes to different classes to make sure I wasn't tardy. To make sure I was a good student. Because no one else was going to have my back. And he loved it. And he did it throughout almost the entire school year. He couldn't stand when I had to go for robotics competitions and other, like, because I was involved in school. So he he didn't like when I had to miss because that messed up his entertainment. That messed up his opportunity to be hateful and just despicable, vile human being. Ah. So sometimes I wonder if I would be able to ask him how hell feels. I'm not judging or I'm not saying that's where he's going to go, but Hopefully he's changed. Hopefully he changed. But when I heard about Nexus story, I relate. I understand. And I understand why Nex threw that water at those girls. I understand. Because day after day after day, you have to be strong. And when you're being called ugly and stupid and the R word and an Oreo and a white girl wannabe and every single day and you keep having to be strong. Sometimes you're tired of being strong, but in high school, you, the teachers don't defend you. The teachers don't care. Some of the teachers love it. Some of the teachers think it's entertaining. 
So the teachers don't have your back. The principal doesn't have your back. No one has your back. So then you always have to watch your back, have your back, and keep your back defense in defense mode. Because you never know who's going to either stab it, hurt it, or whatever. So I understand. And next, oh my gosh. Now... In your memory, I want to put you as a character in my book because you are amazing and I give you so much credit because I know what you went through. We, I went through it within a different demographic, but I, as someone with now a diagnosed disability, as now someone who I am now being able to understand myself, and now as someone who understands my the LGBTQ community and how my church sometimes, mm, it's like they tried to keep me ignorant in the situation or within a area where now, mm-mm, nope, no. They're the ignorant ones. And... I just wonder how people can be so hateful, hurtful, awful. And then those who are supposed to have these children's backs don't. So, but now, yes, I'm going to have my bullies in my books. Oh, and I'm going to enjoy it. And next, you deserve to be a hero. Now you have wings and you're able to fly around and be a hero. Either maybe as a guardian guardian angel or something because you had to have your back for so long. You had to be strong for so long until you had to fight. Uh, but you're, you were an amazing person. And I understand. And I hope people out there can finally understand that people are different. People should be allowed to be unique and be themselves. And to stop being scared of uniqueness, difference. You should be happy that everybody thinks like you. How boring would would the world be if everyone lived just like you but i will have a part two because and yeah they're going to be spread out I, I have other part twos i need to do and cover but just know this is the handy capable black woman throne room podcast edition i am a woman i am of color and i am handy capable But most importantly, I am human. Next was human. And you're human too. Next, I hold you in my heart. And you were such a strong human being. I give you so much credit. Bye.